teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From their own 43-yard line, first down. to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. Has some daylight. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So they're going to go for it here. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at the 23. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 21. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 21-yard line, second down. Back 22, back 22. I'm coming. Green nine, green nine. Slings it. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And this is the 10th play of the drive. To the end zone, intercepted. The pressure definitely got to the quarterback there because that pass was not on target. The defense was just sitting on that. They were in zone coverage. As soon as they saw he was in trouble, they were all over the football. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. At about the 39 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He steps up at the 43. That's a gain of four on one play. That brings him second and five. 
Mike 41. We got a wedge down here. Here we go, here we go. Let me go. Black 85. Hot, hot. Black 85. <laughs> Get to that quickly. Tackle at the 47. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. 41's coming, 41 the mic. Let's go. And he can't get away from the pressure. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Mike 41, Mike 41. Oh, the go. offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Quick pass. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. Third down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Not much there on the screen play. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And they make the stop right around the 30. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And down he goes at the 46. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. two-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And bring him down at about the 33-yard line. We've played one quarter. No score here. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Three down, three down. Mike 22, Mike 22. They go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Larry, Larry. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike. Red, go. goes out of bounds at the 31. Short gain, but it's good for the first down. Sometimes the short throws are just as effective as the long ones. About 80% of the time, the team with the most first downs wins the game. On the throw, incomplete pass. And this play is number eight on the drive.
First and 10. Ball on the 14. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. They give to the tailback, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Check curls, check curls, check curls. My Red 22, two, 22. Yellow. kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. They're about four yards away here on third down. Here's the throw, I don't think he got anything on that. He's gonna come up shy of the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. Yes. Finds his receiver, touchdown! on the extra point. It was a 12 play, 81 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Central Florida kicked this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Good open field tackle. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? Hey! Watch the slant! Watch the slant! Watch the slant! Watch the slant! Watch the Gains his way to midfield. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the fifty. Three down, three down. Forty one's coming. Forty one's the mic. Let's go. Now he's flushed and they got it. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Mike 41, Mike 41. Hey. Scrambling around. He's at the 40, and he's taken down at the 35 yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Flyers incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. They need to get it to the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. That's a team of 19. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 41. You gotta wedge that, huh? Red hot! Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The Cougars taking their first time out of the half. 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. A little misdirection. They go to the left for a nice game. That'll bring up third and inches. And here's another third down. Throws into coverage, just picked off. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball of the 22. Central Florida is up by a touchdown. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. There's a strike complete. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. Red two. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll make the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. He really got a hold of that one. Tries to get around the corner. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The Cougars struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes... You know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Easy, easy, easy. Fox two, Fox two. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambled. And now he's going to run. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here we go. Red 18. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From the 30 yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He's going to try and scramble. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it's good. We played a half of football here. The Knights lead it by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half pretty much devoid of big offensive plays. It's not really what we expected to see with these two teams, both capable of getting yards and chunks of scoring very quickly. So when you have playmakers who are bottled up for an entire half, what's the frustration level like for them? Oh, it starts to get high. And as a defense, you love it. You sense it. it, it you feed off of it because well, you think about it. You got running backs that are used to making one guy miss, two guys miss, take it to the house. Well. Now you're making one guy miss, two guys miss, and you're like, wait, a third guy's coming in? I mean, they're tackling so well. You're used to receivers being able to go up over DBs and make big plays, and you got DBs hanging with you and, and batting the ball down. And so it's just, it puts you in a situation where you're like, wait, this isn't supposed to happen. A little bit of doubt creeps in because usually you're just going up and down the field, nobody's stopping you. And you so in your mind, you think, I'm invincible. I'm not, I'm not capable of being stopped. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That makes it Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Oh, excellent punt. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Central Florida is up by four. He's out of bounds around the 29-yard line. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 29. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Zips it to the back. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. No game. That'll make it fourth and six. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. He makes the catch and has a first down. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of nine yards. yards. First, first down. down. 
tackle at the 28-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep five on the play. That makes it second and six. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 14-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. The offense needs something new down here in the red zone. Brought down at the six-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. scrambling decides to take it himself and he's got it touchdown so the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point he makes the PAT Brigham Young is lining up to kick this one off Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. Second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 26 yard line. Complete right down, nothing doing. From their own 38 yard line. First down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The 36. No gain on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. Going deep, lays it up there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's tackled at the 31. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Brigham Young is up by three. He's scrambling. And they push him out at the 40. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Let's go. He might have a chance. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. 
The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. 10-7, BYU. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Fights forward to about the 46. Second and nine. Ball on the 46 yard line. And he's taken down around the 49 yard line. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This team's happy that their defensive lineman just dropped an interception. But I think a few of those guys down there on the sideline are getting a chuckle out of the big fella dropping the ball. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That's a gain of one. That makes it second and eight. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Taken down. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Check nine, check nine. Three, nine. Three, 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 three. Throw to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 22, he's coming. And two. There go. Seven. There go. Throws falling back and finds his man. He's knocked out of bounds at the 45 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws complete. He's got space to work, and he's tackled at the 47. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Less than three minutes in the game. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. And here's another third down. Four down, four down. Mike 41. You gotta wedge that, huh? Red two. The junior makes the catch. At the 48. He zips it. And that's his receiver who's wide open. And it's a whole new ball game. And he 
adds the extra point. A seven play, 86 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. The 37-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a game of 12, 12 yards. yards. First, first down. down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. Just over two minutes in the game. Don't get nervous. Let's go. Why 50? Why 50? And they get nice yardage on that run. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. That brings them second and five. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From their own 42-yard line, third down. Down around the 24 yard line. First down. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackled in the open field. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of five yards. That brings him second. Just a minute remains in this football game. Cougars will use their first time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. We have less than a minute to go. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead.
There's Trying to go up by three, here. they'll kick the extra point. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay, Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Under a minute left in the game. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Do you take a shot at the end zone? There's not a lot of time left, but maybe they can catch the defense being overly conservative. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He goes out of bounds. The 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Go, four, go! Strike to his receiver, no good. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Fires to the wide, first down. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 28. And he tackles them hard at the 20. Central Florida will take their second time out of the half. He chucks it downfield. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. from their own 48-yard line. First down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The Knights using their third and last timeout. Brigham Young holds a field goal lead, and he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Cougars, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.